Reed Pabich, the extra forward, is in Somoza playing the right wing side. Up along the right wing boards, Buccaneers centering. They go down low. Looked like Keeker Olsen was going to take a shot there instead. It gets through to Salici still. No. There's a little bit of a delay there, and that puck was underneath the netminder as the second power play unit starting to come on. Drop pass from Luki to Chapani, then to Laferriere. Laferriere has that bounce off him, gathers it back, firing and scoring! Sam Renlund! Buccaneers on the power play, and with a couple of set plays there, Luki with the drop pass, then to Chupani. Where it got interesting was Laferriere coming up with so much speed, lost it for a second, and the Bucks able to take advantage of a fortuitous bounce as Sioux Falls trying to clear it out of the zone. Laferriere just did his best goalie impersonation, tried to take up as much real estate as possible. That is definitely one that the Buccaneers are going to want to kill because they're going to be really frustrated if Sioux Falls capitalizes. And just like that, up and over the blocker on the near side, Luke Toporowski, his sixth goal of the season. Now, he is a local boy in the sense that he's from Bettendorf, Iowa, but right looking to get it over to the right side, unsuccessfully with Shouty. Bevilacqua tries to play that over. And immediately Haskins, and then coming in late is Will Deneen, and that's going to start something here. In the south end corner, the Bucks were already upset about the what they felt was a slash taken at their netminder, which was called the other way. Lukey won't let it go as he's on Garrett Sunquist, and those weren't even the two players involved initially. Tough angle, loose puck, and swept away by Salici. Fantuzzi feeds it over, and the netminder got just enough of it with his left shoulder to send it up and over the crossbar. Mack bodies his man. Tough angle. Some jousting going on at the back door. Looking for a redirection, they get it, then missing on the open net. Netminder, Malahi was spun around. Chupani. Down low, now up top. Lukey, over to Laferriere, fires! And the netminder got over in time. And I can tell you right now, Alex Laferriere is a little bit frustrated. Players tangle up, and now an opportunity for the Buccaneers for a momentary four on three. Here's Renlin, Renlin tries to go down low. Carpa. And it's poked away from him. Wolf. Excuse me. Mack sends it down low. Inside. Carpa scores! <laughs> A beautiful pass from behind the goal line by Sam Renland. And then that's the danger of Zach Carpa. 6'3, 195 pounds. And as soon as he got it, yeah, he would have loved to let it go, but he saw the position. A lot of bodies in the way. It kicks off of one of them and into the corner. Sent up Laferriere. Laferriere gets around his man. Short-handed. He'll lead the race. Cuts in. Fires. And it's kicked out by the netminder. Off the mark. Bevilacqua with it. Now to Mack. Mack to Fairmouth. That time on target. Left pad save. Mack with a drive. Loose puck, and they can't get it as Fairmouth. Mercury on the draw, and it's sent right back to him. A mistake by the netminder, now Ludke with it. The Bucks, Laferrier with a drive, and kicked out by the netminder, who got his blocker there as well, but I don't think that got a piece of it. The fake play was enough to cause Daniel Russell to buzz by the tower, no damage done. Laferriere with a drive and scores! Up and over the blocker of the netminder, Grannon. And that one barred down with 7.50 to go. In period number two. And if you are head coach Matt Murray of the Sioux Falls Stampede, 
your thought process has to be stop putting these guys on the power play as they have scored three goals. Sioux Falls in their road Navy uniforms. Navy Breezers, white names and numerals outlined in gold. A little bit of gold trim in the logo. Snapping a shot and it's in, in the slot. Sillinger buries it. And then interacting with the crowd, lets them know that he put that one in just 42 seconds into period number three. And now Wolf pins his man away. Rhodes gets to it first, sends it out front. What a glove save by the netminder. Blocked there by Mercury as that clearing attempt stays in the zone. Handed off for Deneen, it's turned over. Mercury upended, but Renlund drops it off. LaFerrier fires and scores! The Buccaneers back on top by two, and quite honestly, Lurk Lucas Mercury was knocked over, and the Buccaneers could have shrugged their shoulders and complained about a no call. Instead, they pressed on. They kept fighting, and Renlund with a great pass to LaFerriere. LaFerriere with his second goal of the game, and Renlund with a three-point night. Buccaneers score their first five-on-five five goal, and they are on top by a score of four to two. Fires over to one side, that's blocked. And Sillinger once again cycles it down low. Buccaneers chip at it, it's gloved down. Mercury slows things down, sends it to the empty net, and it's in! Lucas Mercury with 81 seconds left in regulation gets the Buccaneers to a three goal lead. And here on Pink in the Rink night, he gives the fans a little chuckle as after they huddle, loses his edge. And the Buccaneers with a commanding lead here in the closing moments. Night, 34 seconds left to go and we'll probably hear his name once again in the three stars of the game. Truman waits, feeds it over, and Max scores to put an exclamation point on this one. And excuse me, that was Tanner Latch slipping in from the backside as soon as he scored, converged on by his teammates, and why not? something you don't see too often. Team scores an empty net goal, then scores one on the goaltender after that. And some of the Buccaneer fans, Fairmouth plays it deep. Fantuzzi, DDD pass from left to right, and Salici again throws a big hit, and then going after him, and we're gonna have some fireworks here as Salici Throw a hit on Healy. Now the goaltender gets involved as Granin takes him down and still getting the best out of that was Fairmouth. Fairmouth takes down one player and goes after another and again ends up on top. Sean Donaldson took the worst of it the first time. Now it's Tyler Haskins as Fairmouth. Now Keeker Olsen gets a couple of whacks from the netminder, Granin and there's always a debate about when you've got a player and a goaltender going at it simply because you can make the argument that the goaltender is at a disadvantage because it's harder for him to move around, but he's also got a lot more equipment. And the Buccaneers 